All right, my man Horace, what's up, brother? What's up, what's up? <laughs> so talk to me, you got the Olympic trials coming up in December? Yes, sir. What's it feel like, brother? Um, it, it, feel, it feel great, you know. I finally got the spot, so now I can go out here and, sh you know, show my, my uh, abilities. So oh, yeah. That I've been working on and get the spot for the Olympic team. How important is, is this to you career-wise? Uh, this is very important. This is a goal that I had since I was a little kid. So, like, actually getting here is just a big thing. But now I really can, like, get the spot. So, like, it's just, it means everything to me. It means everything. What, at what age did you start boxing? And how did you start boxing? <laughs> <laughs> what age? I started boxing at six years old. Uh, I got into boxing because, like, when I was younger, I was a little hothead. Yeah. Like I used to have anger problems and stuff like that. So, I guess. <laughs> so, my dad just took me to the gym and... I just the rest is history. Yeah. So your father made you start fighting? Yeah. I wanted to do other I wanted to do other sports like basketball and stuff like that, but I guess he didn't want me like to have He, he literally wanted made me. you start boxing. Yeah. Every Elliot knows how Is to fight. Is his name Joe Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. No, matter of fact, we're going to call you O-Jack. <laughs> O-Jack. Listen, I got a cousin. And since they've been boxing, he's all, every time I post something, that's right, Joe Jackson. Keep it going. <laughs> like, nah, it, it, it wasn't, it, 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 it wasn't to that degree. It was, uh. Like I said, my oh, family. You don't have to yeah, 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 yeah. Statue of limitations. You trying to back out? No, they all wanted to fight. Oh man, I had to do something with the kid. <laughs> he was out of control. <laughs> what was it like the first time you laced him up? Because he just told us the great tradition from grandfather mm -hmm. to uh, uncles. Right. Well, great uncles for you, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So father, so what was it like the first time? I'm at first, it, like just learning how to fight, I guess it was okay, but like I really didn't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Who wanted to? I, I was six, seven years old. I did not want to box. Everybody else playing football, doing a whole bunch. I wanted to do what they wanted to do, but he didn't let me do that. He, he gave me a different path. So, All right. So, like, if you messed up a combination, would you not get dinner that night? Oh no, I would eat. Would he withhold food from you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me one of them nuggets. You only get three tonight. Nah. <laughs> And have you sparked the big man to your left? Of course, of course. How was that? Uh, I be working with him, you know, because like I have a, a way, way more, more experience. experience yeah. So, but you know, he he's getting better and better. So you know, from time to time, I have to pick it up. You know, working with my dad, so it's like you know, you about to know everything I know. So yeah. you ain't gonna be hitting me with the stuff I know. <laughs> <laughs> they usually say that abused children become abusers. <laughs> So, I mean, Yo, Fast is gonna love this. Fast is gonna. <laughs> oh, so what's it like sparring the Olympic hopeful, man? Man, uh, well, it's an honor. It's a blessing. You know, like I told you, it's it's quick story. First time I came here to spar, coach had to tell him to lay off my head because I was. I couldn't, I was all messed up. I couldn't see straight, but I kept going. I think we sparred like six rounds. Six rounds. Yeah, 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 six, yeah. I mean, six rounds with horses is like 12 rounds with a bump. And yeah. you ain't, you know, so it was awesome. I left here and I was with Lou and luckily he goes, I'm starving champ. <laughs> we stopped, I said, good man, cause I cannot drive right now. So we stopped and got something to eat, but it was all, it was all been great since then. Like. Like, I, I say it's a blessing because find a guy, a, a kid, you still a kid to me, bro. I'm 30, he's he's 19. I be we, we spar, I come out of the ring. Yo, let me talk to you from each, showing me, telling me what I'm doing wrong. Right, right. I'm 30 years old, I look up to a 19 year old in mm. the gym. At our last fight, what did I say was missing from the locker room? Horse, yeah. Horse. Like, I look up to this guy, everything he does, his work ethic, his skill level, his knowledge, his boxing IQ is just, it's incredible. Right. You know, it's, like I said, it's a true honor. This actually, this shirt I'm wearing, the guy who just sponsored me and eventually him. Yeah, uh, break it out, give him yeah, some Yeah, it's Revivify, yeah. my boy Richie right there. He does cryotherapy, percussion. 
uh, How compression can find sleeves. Them? Is it a website or something? Uh, check them out, Revivify Your Body on Instagram. Yeah, He's hold low. that up. Let me, yeah, let me definitely. Let me zoom in on it. It's uh, Revivify Your Body in Summit, New Jersey. I just started with them this camp. It was what I was missing. And uh, I'm gonna get horse hooked up over there. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's actually helping me a big, big deal. I'm doing cryotherapy three times a week, full body cryotherapy. Nice. And uh, so I was just talking with him the other day. And he goes, you know, so he, he, he used to train out of my old gym. He goes, how's, how's training going to so and so? But I said, man, it's, it's totally different. Like my sparring partner has 130 amateurs. At a national level, a lot of them. Olympic trials, Olympic, I don't think he's Olympic hopeful, Olympic team, I think. Mm. I'm, I'm positive about that. And uh, he goes, his exact words were, wow, you don't hear that every day. And you don't. No. So that's why I say it's an honor to work with somebody at his skill level. Right. You know, I spar with him, and then I go spar with some guys I used to spar. Mm -hmm. I look like a stud. Mm -hmm. You know, you could throw 100 jabs and only hit him with three. You throw 100 jabs at somebody else, you might land 80. So it's just, it's different. It's just great. Pressure make diamonds. Definitely. Horse, iron sharp as iron. Definitely. Horace, can you give us your amateur pedigree? I'm 10 time national champion. <laughs> Damn, 10 time <laughs> national champion. Yeah, I held number one spots in two or three weeks at the same time. Um, he said he gonna get that thrill out. Yeah, he want that thrill. <laughs> he gonna get that thrill <laughs> I got 109 wins out of uh, 130 amateur fights. He's been a national. He's a national champion at every level, junior, junior youth, youth. I won and uh, all over. Elite. He just all won the men's tournament in Reno. in Reno. Right. That's how he got his spot in the, in the yeah, trials. The Western qualifier for the Olympic trials, yeah. which is you know the Olympic trials is the biggest platform as far as national uh, competition. Um, it only comes every four years, right. and you it's out of all these boxes, you got thousands of boxes and. It winds down to what eight people in a, in a in a in a weight class. So that's that's special. I mean, think that's about special. that. To say you're top eight in the country, right? Forget what? about number one. To say you're top eight in the country. I mean, who gonna who gonna say something right. like that, in man? The country, in the country. There you exactly. Go. What's your rank in your weight division? I'm right now I'm ranked four. Four. That, yeah, that was my. Uh, I won that tournament, so that got me some points. But I have the third spot in the Olympic trials, so I'm seated at three. 